Hello all, 4 Play Squad Gaming here, and this is our Final Fantasy XIV Trial Guard series. Containment Bay P1T6 is a level 60 optional trial, introduced in patch 3.4, and featured during the quest, Balance Unto All. The quest giver is Yuna Kalhai in the Rising Stones. It is also worth mentioning, at the time of recording this video, 15 Tombstones of Poetics are awarded upon completion. Sophia is the second primal of the war in Triad, and with this guard we hope you will be able to tip the balance in your favour. So without further ado, let's dive into the guard. We start this trial with the main tank game, Enmity, and facing Sophia away from the party. Shortly after the start of the fight, the boss will use Aero 2. This is a large point blank AoE and knockback. This can be avoided by moving out of the AoE zone, though you will need to react quickly because of its size. Immediately after, and only for the first phase, Sophia will immediately after cast Thunder 3. This is a large donor AoE, move centrally or max distance to avoid the damage. Both will deal damage to any player's hit and also add a stack of vulnerability up Devo, increasing damage received. Another ability used in phase 1, Athera, is Quasar. This will place proximity based damage markers on two random players. Distance yourself away from these markers to reduce damage taken. When Sophia disappears, make sure to avoid her line of sight, as she will charge across the arena dealing moderate damage, knocking players back and also adding another stack of vulnerability up. If the lower half of Sophia appears at the edge, then a straight line column AoE will be fired across. If both Sophia and her lower half appears, as mentioned before, watch out for the Sophia rush charge. The final ability to watch out for in phase 1 is Thunder 2. This is a frontal cone AoE focused on the main enmity threat, avoid as necessary. Once enough damage has been dealt, usually around 70% health, Sophia will disappear and reappear centrally north. This indicates the start of Phase 2. Phase 2 begins with the cast of Cloudy Heavens. Sophia will summon 3 Demiurge adds and become untargetable in this phase. All players will also be debuffed with Eternal Doom. Anyone who is killed whilst affected by this debuff will turn into a zombie and will uncontrollably start attacking party members. We need to kill all three Demiurges to remove the debuff. Each Demiurge has its own separate abilities, being based around a Paladin, a Healer and a Lancer. It is recommended to focus and kill the second Demiurge first because of its gaze mechanic, which will confuse players for 8 seconds if they do not face away from it when it is cast. Then it is recommended to kill the third Demiurge as this ad places ice puddles around the arena, which will deal damage over time to anyone who enters the puddle in the form of freezing. The first Demiurge has a directional parry that can reflect damage and knock players back. Aim to kill this ad last. Once all Demiurges have been killed, the Eternal Doom debuff will be removed and a set of scales will appear in front of Sophia. The party will be not in the direction that the scales are tipped. This mechanic will become much more important later in the fight when the barriers around the arena are removed. A tip for all players who feel unsure about the scales, you can use arm's length or sure cast to negate the movement effects. The barriers will now be removed and the final phase begins. Phase 3 is very much the same as the first phase, however we have some additional mechanics to watch out for. And of course the barriers have been removed, meaning we can now fall off and be killed. Players who are knocked off can be resurrected. The scales mechanic in this phase will be determined by the meteors that fall into the scales at either side. Sophia will have small orange tethers that link to either scale. We need to position ourselves towards the opposite side of the platform that has the most tethers. The first time this mechanic is used, it always only has one tether, so head towards the opposite side to the tether. The next new mechanic introduced is balancing sin with suffering. Two players will be marked with blue circles and two with white. We simply need to pair a white and a blue circle together, and the same for the second set. Failure to pair the blue and the white circles will debuff the player's hit with either damage down or bleeding debuffs. These can and should be dispelled if affected. Make sure to watch out for all of the phase 1 mechanics, especially any with a knockback. All of the abilities mentioned will now randomly rotate. Depending on the party DPS however, Sophia may summon a random Demiurge from before. If the second Demiurge is summoned, then make sure to prioritise it to avoid the risk of the confusion debuff. It is recommended to focus down Sophia if either of the other two Demiurges are summoned. Keep up the damage and finish off Sophia. And there you have it, Containment Bay P1T6 is complete. Remember to commemorate the player you believe deserves it most and receive your loot. We give this trial a difficulty rating 3 out of 5 swords. This fight is mechanic heavy and it's relatively easy to be knocked from the platform. 
Congratulations if you survive your first run. The special loot for this trial includes the Sophia card. Remember to like, comment and if you haven't already, click to subscribe. We are 4Player Squad Gaming. Until next time, thanks for watching.